Welcome back to Medina County, Texas, GMRS. A quick update on the TID Radio H8. I uh, had a few questions that I sh probably should have answered in the first video. Um, I'm going to go over some of the power output, uh, I guess, misunderstandings on my part. Let me spin you around here and we'll take a look. All right. So on their website, and I'm not going to do screen sharing, if you go to products, you go to GMRS, you will notice that the H8 is under the GMRS tab advertised as 10 watts. All right. Um, if you go to HAM, the H8 is not listed at all. So, I was under the impression they were going to ship this out as a 10 watt GMRS. Uh, after looking at their Amazon ad, the GMRS, they are kicking it down to the 5 watts, trying to stay compliant. Um, and then their ham is going to be 10. Um, from my understanding, this is not uh, FCC compliant, right? The rated. Um, it is not waterproof. Uh, and when they ship it, it's going to come with the radio, the antenna, the belt clip, the battery, and the instruction manual. Um, currently, there are no other batteries or anything else available for it. Um, so, just wanted to clear up any confusion. Had a lot of questions, and I don't want to be a source of uh, crappy information. So, wanted to give you all a quick update on that. Appreciate your patience, and uh, thanks for all the questions y'all had. Okay, here's the kit. Charger, belt clip, antenna, radio, battery, uh, wrist strap, of course, and the box. All right, y'all. Greatly appreciate it. We'll have some more videos coming out this weekend. Take it easy. Let me know if you have any other questions, and we'll see you on the next one.